Hello and welcome everyone. Thank you for joining us tonight. I'm Adam Cellini and a happy Father's Day to all the fathers out there. Enjoy what's left of it. Topping our news tonight, a frightening moment for local locals who were riding a Sarasota County area transit bus that was struck by a pickup truck near downtown Sarasota. According to an eyewitness, the scat bus was trying to turn left from Tuttle Avenue onto Bayavista Vista Street when a blue pickup truck trying to catch a yellow light from the opposite direction struck the back corner of that bus. Riders could be seen exiting the bus in pain, some even covered in blood, and a few were transported to the hospital, although it's unknown how many required extra medical attention. Sarasota Fire needed the jaws of life to get the driver out of that truck out of his vehicle and onto a stretcher. The extent of the injuries and damage is still unclear at this time. Sarasota police were also assisting in that investigation. A man is recovering tonight after being shot in North Manatee County. The victim was picking up the suspect from the Rabonia Social Club located on 72nd Street Court East in Palmetto. But the suspect ended up exiting the car and as the victim drove off, he heard gunshots and felt a bullet hit him in the arm. The man was transported to the hospital with non-life threatening injuries. Deputies are still searching for that alleged shooter. Anyone with information should contact the Manatee County Sheriff's Office or Crime Stoppers at the number listed on your screen. Police in London say there is a number of casualties after another car struck a group of pedestrians. The Muslim Council says the van ran over worshipers leaving Finsbury Park Mosque. One person has been arrested and the police um, investigation into this incident is ongoing. This incident comes about two weeks after another car hit pedestrians and a, a subsequent stabbing attack near the London Bridge that left seven people dead and 48 others injured. Portugal is still trying to contain a major national disaster. More than 60 people have died as wildfires surge uncontrolled across cent the central part of the country. The government has sent an SOS across Europe pleading for help. ABC's Richard Cantu has more. All through the night, the deadly forest fires raging out of control. The wall of flames outpacing more than a thousand firefighters struggling desperately to contain them. Those flames whipped by fierce wind. When I saw the wind, it looked like it was a storm and fireworks, said this woman. And I told my husband, this is the end of the world. And it was for dozens who thought they could outrun the blaze. Instead of an escape route, this main road became a highway to hell. Residents trapped. Very quickly, um, that sort of uh, people lost kind of control. The wind was just, uh, just, just extraordinary. I've never experienced anything like it. More than 60 killed so far. This drone video shows how some drove into a death trap. At least 30 bodies found inside the burnt out shells of cars resembling a charred junkyard. The result, anguish. And officials expect that death toll to climb. Frustrating first responders, thick clouds of smoke and haze reducing visibility to near zero. Reinforcements are on the way to aid what the prime minister is calling Portugal's biggest tragedy in decades. The fire caused by a severe heat wave, low humidity and lightning, creating tinderbox conditions. The government has declared three days of mourning. Richard Cantu, ABC News, New York. Certainly a terrifying situation there in Portugal. Here on the Sun Coast, we are dealing with mostly rain recently. Let's head over to Wendy Ross for a first check on our local weather. Wendy? And we are looking at a great deal of moisture that is located out here, well down to the south in the Caribbean. But the area that we're really focused on is just to the west of that area. And this is an area of concern, at least for us, as this system prepares to get into the Gulf of Mexico. So we're going to be watching this system as it does move in that direction towards the northwest. It'll cross over the Yucatan Peninsula. It's expected to take on about an 80% chance of becoming a tropical system within the next 48-hour period. And once it gets into the Gulf of Mexico, we still don't know where it's going to go, whether it's going to move off towards Texas and Mexico or whether it's going to be moving more towards the New Orleans area. We have a second system. This one here is now producing strong enough winds that we are looking at tropical storm warnings, which are issued 
for the Windward Islands. This is a chain of islands located right here as this system continues to move on towards the west. It's moving very quickly at around 20 miles per hour. You can see where the track is going to take it, which is going to be keeping it more to the south of Cuba, but it's still too early to give it a total track area. What we are looking at is a 20% chance, I'm sorry, an 80% chance in the next two days of becoming a tropical system. So this is also something that bears some watching. And we continue to see some light rains across our area. We'll talk more about our local forecast in just a few minutes. Adam. Thank you, Wendy. The Manatee County Sheriff's Office is warning drivers to be on the lookout for a suspect who followed and shot at a driver in Bradenton. The victim was driving home when he came up to a light on US 41. Then a vehicle pulled up alongside him so the driver rolled down his window. The victim says uh, that person yelled, that's my car, to which the victim responded, no, it is not. When he pulled away, he was followed. Then at 21st Street and 2nd Avenue East, the left rear passenger of the um, driving up car started shooting the victim's car, hitting it three times. In the investigation that followed, deputies found 12 casings in the roadway. The victim, however, was not harmed. A heads up for drivers traveling to University Parkway tonight on I-75 until 5 a.m. tomorrow morning. The I-75 northbound off-ramp and I-75 outside right lane are scheduled to close near the, or excuse me, at the Diverging Diamond Interchange. FDOT says the closure is for construction crews to finish paving those lanes. Motorists traveling north on I-75 wishing to exit at University Parkway will instead be directed to continue north, exit westbound at State Road 70, enter southbound on I-75, then you can exit at University Parkway. While many families are celebrating Father's Day together on this Sunday, others must depend on memories to get through the holiday. ABC 7's Erica Jackson shows us Father's Day can be tough for a group of parents who outlive their children who were serving in our armed forces. Gold Star families are relatives of armed services members killed in action. For one Gold Star father in Manatee County, Father's Day is bittersweet, honoring the lives of his three sons, one killed in the line of duty. We are free because of people like my son. Military service is in the Hager family's blood. Though Chris Hager's lottery draft number was never selected, his father served as a glider pilot in World War II, his son Aaron in the Coast Guard, and his oldest son Josh as an Army Ranger. He was one of those heroes um, that led people and loved what he did. But what he did cost him his life. The platoon sergeant was killed in action after more than 70 combat missions in Iraq. He called me six days before we lost him and he said, hi dad, I just called to tell you I love you. This is Chris's 11th Father's Day without Josh, just two days before what would have been his son's 40th birthday. Now Chris's mission is education, teaching the community about Gold Star families and how to properly honor America's fallen heroes. In 10 years, I've never had someone ask me what the Gold Star meant. People don't know. The symbol recently took Chris to the White House, where he and other Gold Star families met with President Donald Trump, who is working to create a position in the White House for a Gold Star family advocate. Met the president on a couple of occasions. He asked the same question, does it ever get better? And the answer is no, it gets different. The biggest changes are in his spirited eight-year-old son, Carson, who Chris says has the same characteristics as the brother he never met. A glimmer of light during what can be a tough holiday. I have two that are alive. That's what Father's Day means. I really do think about those that that have lost more than I. For more information on how to get in touch with other Gold Star families in Florida, visit our website, mysuncoast.com. Reporting in Parish, Erica Jackson, ABC7, your Suncoast News. Still to come here on ABC7, a heart-stopping wrong way crash caught on camera and what you should do if you encounter a wrong way driver. And are modern dads more nurturing than their predecessors? A look into the current role of fatherhood. This is the story of a boy who was very sensitive to lights and sounds. So he built secret hiding places where nothing could get in. The boy didn't like looking people in the eye, 
and made him feel uncomfortable. One day, he found out he had something called autism. His family got him help, and slowly, he learned how to live with it better. Early intervention can make a lifetime of difference. Learn the signs at AutismSpeaks.org. This is an important medical announcement. Barred IVC filters have been linked to punctured veins and problems with migration. Anyone who's received a barred IVC filter must receive medical monitoring and may be entitled to substantial compensation. If you have the Bard Recovery G2 or G2 Express filter, you are in a class of patients who should be compensated for some expenses. Call now for a free assessment of your case and potential money damages. This call is confidential. There's no cost and you may be eligible. Juries have awarded millions of dollars to people who should have been warned about the risks of the Bard IVC filters. Call the IVC filter hotline if you or a loved one has received an IVC filter and experienced a vein puncture or required medical monitoring. You must call now. Call 800-329-3089. 800-329-3089. I believe that home is where your pet is. And that loving an animal means never giving up on them, never letting them go. I believe that when you spare and neuter your pets, you help decrease the number of homeless animals. Because every dog and cat deserves a place to call home. I believe that I found my best friend at a shelter. And you can too. We believe that together with Best Friends Animal Society, we can bring about a time when there are no more homeless pets. Visit ambassadors.bestfriends.org. We're losing exotic animals on a daily basis, and the ones that we have in captivity are really the ambassadors for their wild counterparts. I'm Clayton Rosaire from the Big Cat Habitat and Gulf Coast Sanctuary, housing over 150 exotic animals that needed a great home. And if you love animals, please help them. Do it locally. Support your local no-kill shelters, your local wild animal sanctuaries. Make a difference where you can. Check out My Sun Coast Dining on MySunCoast.com, your guide to the foodie lifestyle. ABC7's own Chef Judy serves up her favorite recipes, cooking tips and trends, dining blog, step-by-step videos, and Sun Coast Restaurant Guide. You'll find it all at MySunCoast.com slash dining. The U.S. military has reportedly shot down a Syrian fighter jet near ISIS's self-declared capital, Raqqa. The Pentagon saying the Syrian plane was bombing U.S.-backed coalition forces on the ground. It is the first time our military has shot down a Syrian plane. The U.S. has long said it would protect what it calls moderate Syrian opposition forces. Whether it's giving a piggyback ride or changing diapers, dads today seem to be taking a more active role in raising their children. A Pew Research report that moms and dads in the U.S. work close to equal hours when paid work hours are combined with household chores and child care hours. Pew also finds that fathers are putting more time into their families than ever before. And some Suncoast families gathered to celebrate Father's Day, meeting up at a special event centered around something that has long brought together fathers and sons, cars. ABC7 photographer Sammy Chido was at the fifth annual Fathers and Fenders car show today, speaking to local fathers and their families. I had a few friends out here, and I saw it on their like social media, so I decided to come out here, and then I called my dad, and he came. Love, love it. it. Love it. Love the old cars. We both like cars anyway, so this was perfect. Came to Sarasota to have breakfast at the breakfast house, and while we were here, we decided to stop the car show, and then we're going to go to Lido Beach and stop at the beach. I recently moved down here from Ohio, so we're starting new traditions. I just usually go to breakfast, hang out with my folks a little bit, then do something fun for the day. We really don't have any traditions. We, you know, we try to spend the day together and just do whatever we want. Really, nothing important or usually scheduled. I was driving when he called me and told me about this, so this was pretty exciting. Happy Father's Day. Happy Father's Day. Happy Father's, Happy Father's Day to Father's all the Day. other fathers. Happy Father's Day to everybody else out there and all those that couldn't be here are serving overseas. Now to a terrifying head-on collision caught on camera. Look at this. Now, amazingly, no one was killed in this bone-chilling wrong-way crash that happened on a highway in Utah. It's hard to really think about it. Not only are the majority of wrong way drivers 
drunk, but they're profoundly drunk, more than twice the average. Now, every year, wrongway crashes kill more than 1,000 people in America. Now, highway officials are testing new ways to prevent these horrific collisions in Texas and California. New high tech signs with flashing LED lights detect wrongway drivers and alert highway patrol immediately. In Ohio, they are adding wrongway signs closer to the ground since a study found that drunk drivers tend to look down at the road. Police say if you do see a driver on the other side of the highway heading the wrong way, call 911 and start flashing those high beams and honking your horn. Anything you can do to alert those drivers. Oh Terrifying. I mean, look, God. you don't even see it coming uh, around the other side of that one car. That is shocking. Horrifying. Yes. That is shocking. I was always told, oh. though, it's not, you got to worry about the other drivers. That's what? what my mom told me when I was 16. And Absolutely. I use it today. You, know? you worry about everybody you, it's else. It's everyone else you got to worry about. Oh, yes. And indeed. then yourself, of course. <laughs> Don't drink and drive, of yeah. course. Of yeah. course. Well, we are looking at some rain still taking place at this hour. We are seeing these ra rain showers having really lightened up quite a bit in the last hour or so. But a flood warning was issued for portions of Charlotte County and also DeSoto County because of all these recent heavy rains. And so we're watching these showers pretty much beginning to wind down. They're moving from south to north. We've got plenty of moisture down to the south. And then we are going to get a break throughout the overnight time period. And then we'll start to see more rain coming in again during the morning hours and continuing and off and on throughout the day tomorrow. So you can see that a lot of these uh, showers right now are really much lighter and they continue to move off towards the north. Some places not getting any rain at all, but a lot of this rain is going to continue to die out before the overnight time period. So heavy pockets of rain. Once again, you can see as much as almost four inches of rain over eastern portions of, of uh, Charlotte County and then other places seeing over two inches of rainfall. I've highlighted the heaviest rains that we've seen and this has even taken place along the coastline down around Englewood, 2.7 inches just in the past 24 hour period. So we're seeing an abundant amount of moisture when you take a look at this particular map, you think we've got this huge storm coming at us, but that is not in fact the case. These are cloud tops that we're looking at, and we are seeing this area right here has our immediate attention because this is where the tropical system is that is going to be moving into the Gulf of Mexico and has the potential of becoming a tropical storm in the next 48 hour period. There's an 80% chance of that happening. Once it moves into the Gulf, we really don't know where it's going to go. Air Force reconnaissance planes are going in tomorrow to check out the system, but right now they have not been able to find a circulation. So as a result of that, they had a, a, a chance or an opportunity to go out earlier today. They chose not to. They're going to wait and see about tomorrow. And what we are looking at here is another system farther out into the Atlantic. It's moving towards the west very rapidly at 29. Knots, and we are seeing what the track of this system is likely to be. Right now it appears as though it's going to stay to the south of Cuba and it has an 80% chance of now developing in the next 48 hour period, in the next two days. And we are seeing a tropical storm force winds are being put in effect in advance of this system and it's going to take place across the windward islands as that system continues to move in that direction because they are expecting tropical storm force winds in the next day or so. 89 degrees was our daytime high today, 75 the overnight low. We are going to see our chances, uh, because of the chances of rain getting so high, we are going to see our temperatures a little less high over the next couple of days. It's 75 degrees right now. We're looking at fair skies at the airport, still very high humidity with winds coming in out of the east southeast. And if you are heading out to the beach tomorrow, it's not going to be a great beach day. We're looking at those winds coming in out of the southeast. 86 degrees will be the temperature, and we're expecting to see plenty, plenty of cloud cover. Showers are ending for the overnight time period. They'll be back in play tomorrow. 70% chance of rain all the way through the very first day of official summer. That's on Wednesday, Adam. Thank you, Wendy. Sports is coming up next. Stick around.
If you've ever had a bad night's sleep, call it Price the new Craftmatic Legacy. It has so much more than other adjustables and still costs up to 50% less. Featuring a rising adjustable pillow rest to support your head, neck, and shoulders, bedside power plugs, under bed night lights, and more. So call it Price one today for less, up to 50% less than Tempur-Pedic Sleep Number and other adjustables. You get so much more and it still costs less. You've got to see how little they cost. Call 1-800-774-8103. That's 1-800-774-8103. Call now. Credit card debt can ruin your life. If you owe $10,000 and minimum payments are siphoning away your paycheck each month, you can get debt free in less time than you think. I've paid $800 a month for the past three years and haven't changed the balance on my credit card. Get Debt Free Now has a program to reduce your debt, stop the harassing phone calls, avoid financial ruin, and settle for less than you owe. I feel like a huge weight has been lifted off my shoulders. You're pre-approved for our special hardship program if you owe $10,000 or more. Upon payment of your new lower balance, your debt will finally shrink until you are debt free. My family no longer has 30 years of payments ahead of us at 20% interest. There's no fees until you see results. So call now, make one monthly program payment and free up your cash. Resolve your debt. Call 800-685-6422. 800-685-6422. Every child follows a path in life. For many, that path will lead them to a door, a door that gives them a place to grow, to learn, to belong, a place to forge their future. Because while many doors open, these doors transform. They did for us. Support your local boys and girls clubs. Great futures start here. Invest in Kids is a $7.5 million project to build a new Boys and Girls Club in South Manatee County. I'm Caleb Grimes, and I was a club kid. It's where I learned important life lessons, leadership, integrity, responsibility, and baseball. Thousands of kids attend the Boys and Girls Clubs, and after years of use, their club is slowly falling apart. Help us invest in kids. Make your donation today. It's been about a month, and I can honestly say I've seen the change in me. I went from being a depressed girl who didn't want help to this happy, caring girl who loves helping other people. I just really hope that people that went through what I went through get the help that they need because their story is important and they are loved. Thank you so much for everything. Watch ABC7 wherever you are. Just search ABC7 on your streaming device to keep up with the Suncoast from the comfort of your couch. Download ABC7 now to watch us on TV anytime you want. ABC7, we're here for you wherever you are. Now, sports. For the first time since 2000, the U.S. Open trophy has been claimed by an American golfer for the third straight year. Brooks Kupka follows Dustin Johnson and Jordan Spieth as this year's U.S. Open champion. The 27-year-old took a commanding lead with three straight birdies on the back nine and his 16-under tournament score ties Rory McIlroy for the lowest in U.S. Open history. It's Kupka's first major win, which is becoming a trend in golf. He is now the seventh straight first-time major winner, a streak going all the way back to Jason Day's PGA Championship victory in 2015. The Rays had a rough start to a five-game road trip earlier this week, but boy, did they finish strong. Nine runs off of five homers today, including a grand slam from Steven Souza Jr. and two bombs from Logan Morrison, which puts him at 21 on the year, which is second best in the MLB. Starter Jacob Feria continues to dominate since being called up from AAA earlier this month. Seven innings, one run, nine strikeouts for the rookie right-hander. And the Rays split their series with the Tigers and head back home tomorrow to host a three-game set against Cincinnati. The WNBA has a new all-time scoring leader. With this drive and subsequent layup, Phoenix Mercury guard Diana Taurasi passes Tina Thompson's mark of 7,488 career points and becomes the league's all-time leading scorer. Watching the game in L.A., another prolific scorer. Kobe Bryant courtside 
Real recognizing Real out there in L.A. The game was stopped to honor Tarasi, who is in her 13th season and reached another milestone earlier this year, breaking the career three-pointer record. Florida State will be taking the long road to the College World Series final. The Seminoles blowing a one-run lead in the eighth inning against LSU on Saturday, sending them to the loser's bracket in Omaha, where they have never won a national championship. The University of Florida, however, off to a little better start, finishing off TCU just a, a few moments ago. Gator starter and first-round draft pick Alex Fiedo, masterful tonight. Seven innings, 11 strikeouts, no runs. UF wins 3-0, and they are headed to the winner's bracket. More to come here on ABC7. Stay with us. There are many choices when it comes to AC companies. Our advice? Choose a company that performs employee background checks and is licensed with top manufacturers like Daikin. Daikin offers a 12-year parts and labor limited warranty. For better comfort and value, call Elite Heating and Air. With a top prize of $10 million, the new $10 million world-class cash scratch-off from the Florida Lottery is your ticket to take on the world. If you get knocked down, $10 million world-class cash scratch-off from the Florida Lottery. One of our life-changing scratch-offs offering billions in cash prizes. This is a special health alert for seniors suffering with joint pain. If you have Medicare insurance, you may qualify for high-quality support braces at little or no cost. I'm thrilled with my knee braces. Now, there is a simple and proven solution for seniors to get out of pain with state-of-the-art support braces. I barely feel any pain at all. Braces for your knees and back, as well as your shoulders and ankles, too. I'm so happy with the quality of these braces. Call now, and you could qualify for a pain-relieving brace at little or no cost. I can play ball again, and it doesn't hurt. And because of my Medicare coverage, it costs me next to nothing. So call now. And because I have this red, white, and blue Medicare card, my braces have cost me just about nothing. It's true. You may get a knee, back, shoulder, and ankle brace at little or no cost. They qualified me for two knee braces and a back brace. If you have knee or back pain, give them a call. They can help. 1-800-476-8967. 1-800-476-8967. Attention, Americans eligible for Medicare. Are you getting all the benefits you're entitled to? Did you know there may be money available to lower your medical prescription costs? Call Health Markets and we'll tell you if you qualify. Hi, I'm Dr. Martin Jitsi. It's a new Medicare year. That means more changes and more confusion. The key question is, what can you do now to ensure you get the care you need in the coming year? Call Health Markets today. You may qualify to save money on prescriptions. We'll help you find plans that may cost less, cover more, and could even lower your prescription costs to increase your savings. We help you find all the benefits you're entitled to, and we do it at no cost. Make sure you have what you need to get the care that's right for you. Find out if you qualify to receive extra help with your prescriptions. Call the number on the screen now. Representatives are standing by. Check out mysuncoast.com slash dining, your guide to the foodie lifestyle. There are many choices when it comes to AC companies. Our advice? Choose a company that performs employee background checks and is licensed with top manufacturers like Daikin. Daikin offers a 12-year parts and labor limited warranty. For better comfort and value, call Elite Heating and Air. Tacoma, Washington, it was looking a little bit like a child's bath time. That's if the child was about 100 feet tall, <laughs> playing with the world's largest rubber duck, which is now floating among the sail sailboats out there. The so-called mama duck weighs 15 tons, and she is six stories high. She will be displayed in the port during a sail ship festival that's going on through the weekend. And if you're wondering, mama duck is not available to ride. She is only a viewable attraction. What a shame. 
Wow, that's amazing. <laughs> Moviegoers are waving the checkered flag for Cars 3, the animated comedy, taking the top spot at the box office this weekend, making a projected $53 million. Wonder Woman coming in second and was followed uh, in third by the biopic, uh, the Tupac biopic, All Eyes on Me. And one of those Wonder Woman tickets is sitting right next to me. Oh, Wendy Ross finally gosh, saw it. I saw it. I enjoyed that. That was really fantastic. <laughs> that was fun. Now I've got to go see Cars. That looks good. Yeah. Do you need an excuse to see an animated movie anymore? No, no kids or anything? No, no. We just go. We just go. Just go.